Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the iPod Touch 6th generation, which I'm really excited about. This is the 16 gigabyte, as you can see, and it's the blue. So this came out on July 15, 2015. Um, it features the 4 inch retina display and and an A8 processor and a new 8 megapixel eyesight camera. So let's go ahead and take a look around the box. So as you can see on the top, we have an Apple logo. And then we have iPod Touch on both sides. It's not color matched to the iPod this time. Um, it's just black. And then there's some information down there. And then on the front, you can see the iPod is displayed like this. And it's a nice crystal case. So to open it, all you have to do is pull this orange tab. And then you can open the box. It will open up like a clamshell. And then inside you have your iPod. So this is just a screen protector. So to pull it off, you have to um, peel this, which is really nice and fun. And then you should be able to take this out actually. And then you can bend this and pop it out like that. So we're going to set this aside for a minute while we take a look at what else is in the box. So you can see we have a design by Apple in California and you can open this to find your accessories. So first of all we have some paperwork in here which is basically just um, a quick start guide that tells you what the buttons do and then um, some other information. Here's some info about like the warranty and all that. And then you have some Apple stickers. So also in the box you have your standard accessories which includes a one meter lightning to USB cable. So um, I always have a hard time getting this open. I guess you just peel that off and then unstick Okay, so there we go. It's a one meter cable. And then you have your Apple EarPods. Unfortunately, these are not the Apple EarPods that include the remote and mic and the carrying case. They just come in this disposable case and there's no remote and mic. So it's kind of unfortunate, but um, you can open this up and then pop them out. And then there you have your ear pods, which is really nice. So now let's set all this aside and take a look at the actual iPod. So here it is. Um, this is the blue, obviously. It's a really um, cool blue. It's um, darker and more vibrant than the fifth generation iPod Touch. Um, so let's quickly take a look around. So on the front, you have the screen, obviously, it's a 4-inch retina display, as I stated before. Um, it has a resolution of 640 by 1136, which gives it a pixel density of 326 pixels per inch. You have your 1.2 megapixel FaceTime HD camera at the top, and then you have your home button. And then on this, this side, there's nothing. On the top, you have your power button, and then on the side are your volume controls. And then on the bottom you have headphone jack, lightning port, and a speaker. On the back you have your 8 megapixel iSight camera. It can record 1080p video. And you also have a microphone and LED flash next to that. And then you have just your iPod logo. Up here is a plastic window which allows Wi-Fi and Bluetooth to pass through the aluminum body. And then on the bottom you have all of your regulatory information. Unfortunately this time there's no iPod loop that has been removed. Um, so, um, yeah, 
I guess that can be a good or bad thing, depending on if you liked it or not. So, let's turn it on and go ahead and set it up. So I'm just going to press and hold the button, and then it will come to this Apple screen. And now we are at the setup screen, so it will just say hello in multiple languages. So they have hello, hola, hello, a couple more. So you slide to setup and then you choose your language. I'm going to do English and then you select your country, so United States obviously. Then you can select your Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to select my network and then it will ask you to type in your password. And once you're done with that, you can go ahead and join. And then it will take a couple minutes to set up your iPod Touch, but that was like instant. So then it will ask you if you want to enable location services. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Then you can create a passcode. Um, and there's also some passcode options so you can do... Um, either the four digit number, you can do a letter password, or you can do um, a custom number passcode. So you can have as many numbers as you want, or you can do a six digit passcode, or just no passcode at all, which is what I usually do, so, because I don't really care. And then um, it will ask you if you want to, want to restore um, iCloud backup or iTunes backup, or you can either set it. Uh, set it up as a new iPod Touch, or you can also move your data from Android. So I'm going to go ahead and um, restore from iCloud backup, and then it will just ask you to type in your Apple ID and password. And then you can go ahead and hit Next, and it will update your iCloud settings really quickly. And then um, you have to agree to these terms and conditions, and then it takes a couple minutes to set up. Now I'm going to choose my backup, and now it's starting the backup, so I'm going to skip to the end of this, because it's probably going to take a really long time. Okay, so now that it's done restoring, we can continue setting it up. So now it's prompting us to create a passcode again, which I already said I didn't want to. So don't add passcode. I don't care. I don't care. Okay, and now I have to type in my iCloud password again. And then I'll hit next. Just going to do this again. And next it's going to ask if we want to use Find My iPod Touch, which I do. And now we're finished, so we can get started using iPod. So it already restored all of my apps and content, so it's still working on that. But for now, that is it for the iPod Touch 6th generation. I really hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave it a like, and also subscribe for more iPod Touch videos coming in the next couple days, and I will see you guys later.